So one of the main appeals for working with Ballet Lorena was how inclusive the company is, how we're working with children, we're working with different age dancers, different sized dancers. It kind of makes for a much more, more inclusive and kind of warm family vibe rather than a really strict highbrow exclusivity. So the process for creating the costumes is working really quite closely with Liv and the dancers now that we've been to rehearsals. Where in the piece there is such a wide spectrum of costumes from fairy tale characters to woodland creatures to animals to trees to witches. There isn't really like one starting point. It's kind of trying to, trying to get into each character's mind almost. We wanted to have our own spin on it but while still retaining that recognisable look of this is obviously Snow White, this is um, Hansel and Gretel for example. But most of the designing comes as I start to make, as we get those materials and as we start researching materials and then once we then go onto stage and start seeing how things moving it's kind of like a continual ongoing process that so the design adapts and changes as we go. Sometimes we'll be like what is that a tree, is that an animal? or is that something in between and indescript? So really when designing for, for dance, I think it's so different from what I have been doing so much in the past, which is fashion. For fashion, obviously it's ready to wear. It's, you're not jumping around in it. You're not, on, you're not in stage lights and you're not gonna go on tour for like 45 shows. So really it's, it is that movement is the biggest challenge trying to create something that is interesting, that looks really striking, but where you can fully move in.